There are two reasons why video is becoming more important in remote sensing and GIS applications. The first one is Skybox, a company that has managed to put a video camera on a satellite. Here we can see a video of Las Vegas from Skybox. We can make the image brighter or darker to highlight different parts of the video with a focus always on the visual interpretation. By looking at the negative image, we can see the cars bright over dark or dark over bright to help us interpret the video. And if it gets too boring, we can always speed it up until we get to the part that we're really interested in and then we can slow things down to really concentrate on it. The second reason why video is becoming so important is UAVs. These relatively inexpensive platforms can carry video cameras, navigation systems, and here we can see a particular example where the video also contains what is called MISV metadata. This metadata makes the video GIS relevant because it contains geographical information. So we can use that information to show a map of where the video is currently looking at. This is using ESRI base maps. By zooming out on the map, I can see that we're looking at an area of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Let's zoom back in. As the video is playing, the metadata updates the coordinates of the corners of the video, and we can show them on the map. By clicking on different points of the video, we can see those coordinates on the map. This will help us with orientation, and in this case we can see that the video is pointing south, and we might want to turn things around so the video is always pointing north. The frames are rotated, so north is always up. Let's continue exploiting this MISV metadata to be able to understand this video even better. I'm going to extract a particular type of metadata, in this case the sensor horizontal field of view, to see how this value changes over time. By looking at all the values this particular metadata takes over the length of the video, we will be able to select specific moments where something of interest is happening. The horizontal field of view represents the horizontal size of the video frame in meters and by dragging the location bar to the point where the value is about to change to a much smaller value, we will be able to drag and take our video to the point where it's about to zoom in. Like there. We also have the option to export these metadata values over time to different formats, like KML, to be displayed in Google Earth. As a result, we can switch to Google Earth and show the center line of the entire video, the snail trail indicating the total extent of our video, and the flight path showing the actual line the UAV followed during the recording of the video. If we go back to our video player, we can have as many frames as we want be pushed onto Google Earth, and here comes the current frame. All the associated MISV metadata is part of the properties that are carried over. The other option is to push the current frame to ENVY, where we can use all its existing image processing tools to be able to work with this particular image. The geographical information is carried over so we can do mensuration. In this case, we can see that there is 34.1 meters between the car and the truck, and we might want to highlight that. The last feature that I would like to highlight is the ability to export an entire time series to be exploited with the new time-aware set of tools in Envy.